it's a good scrambled eggs, but we like chives a lot. You know, we use chives in our dumplings, in you know our the pancakes, and everywhere. But today I'm just gonna make a simple dish with um, eggs and chives, and I have some ground meat I I made um, previously, and uh, it's optional. So I made uh, the chive and egg dish with the ground meat today. Chives, um, you can find them in like most of the Asian markets. Um, they come in like a bunch. This is maybe like a pound or so for this much. Um, I'll probably use like five eggs or so. Um, I just washed it. I cleaned out some messy stuff at the bottom and washed the, the dust. So I'm just gonna cut it um, in like half inch long. Just cut it segments. So. This thing is is so simple. See, I still have a little bit of messy parts here. Now anybody can make it and. Especially if you're really busy, have very little time to make any complicated dishes. Here we go. As I talk, with, I have this cut and eggs. Um, let's do five. Hmm, wish I know how to do the one-handed opening. This guy is strong, look at that. Cracked all the other ones. Ah, stronger one. Okay, last one. And I'll just scramble it up. Okay, the eggs are scrambled. And I'll heat up the fire. Heat up the pan. And I'll pour some oil. Um, egg, uh, chives actually takes quite a bit of oil. So probably I'll put in about, well, I do the eggs first. That's maybe like a two tablespoons or so. One. And a half, two, somewhere there. Heat up the oil and then I'll scramble the eggs first. Okay, let's get my uh, Ready? Let the oil heat up evenly. Okay, I think it's on. Not warm enough. Hmm, not warm enough. Just wait a bit then. It'll start to pop bubble. Should have waited a bit longer. Yeah, it's faster. <clears throat> Alright, the eggs are starting to bubble up and we'll scramble it. For this dish, I usually make the eggs scrambled small and kind of fine because that's how the chives are. Okay, I'll turn down the 
fire to low so that the eggs don't get burned. Just make it very small. And then I'll take the eggs out. Um, set it aside so that I'll, I can start cooking the um, chives. Okay, let's take it out. If there's any oil, additional oil, I don't need it. Need them in the egg, so I'll leave them in a pan. Okay, I'll turn the fire back on on high and then add there's some oil left, maybe another one and a half spoonful of oil. That's good. Heat up the oil. Oh, one more piece of eggs in there. warm then I add chives just stir fry it basically for a few minutes. Hmm, I can start smelling it already. These cook pretty fast. Since they're small, but you do want to cook through because otherwise, so like these um, whitish top part, they'll kind of um, taste spicy if it's not cooked through. But you don't want it to cook to be cooked too soft. So I would I would cook for about five minutes. So that the, it's about five minutes and now you can see the the leaves are turning really um, green and the um, white are getting kind of softish it's about five minutes and then I'll add the uh, scrambled eggs in mix it together and make the scrambled eggs a slightly smaller and then I'll add salt. Simple mm -mm. dish. Uh, maybe a teaspoon. Depend on how much you want. And I'll add the pre-cooked ground meat. You don't have to, but if you have, then it's great. Just add a lot of um, Flavor. This is ground chicken, but um, beef, pork, they all, they are, they're all good. So I just make, mix it up for another couple minutes, and then that's the dish. So that's. About a minute or two, uh, I just mix it up and uh, the fish is done. You can add some ground pepper or not. I'll uh, just grind some fresh pepper in there. Ooh, smells good. And that's it.